Hi my loves, I just wanted to do a video showing you what I use when I'm having a flare up in my chronic illness. I have CFS and fibromyalgia. Um, this may help just specifically people with those or it could help anyone with chronic illnesses. Um, I just know that me myself, I like to watch and read as much information as I can to get about how to make flare ups easier and more bearable if that's even a thing um and i just thought i could share some of the things that i use and maybe it could help somebody out so let's get into it so first we will get into using the pain um we have a first aid kit full of stuff here i have very bad knees so i will use knee supports on both of them and this one is velcro so you can tighten it or make it as loose as you want around your knees and targets and areas and points um it's very handy definitely helps i have considered getting compression socks as well the really high ones um just because they're the same kind of concept it's just this is just for your knees only ibuprofen feel like pretty self-explanatory um it does the job i do was I have naproxen, but I've had to stop taking it because it gave me multiple kidney infections. So ibuprofen is the only one that doesn't murder me at the moment. I also have the CBD gummies. I couldn't tell you whether they actually do the trick or not. Um, I don't know if they're strong enough. They help my anxiety, but I can't say for sure whether they actually do anything. For my physical symptoms, they maybe make the mental side a bit less daunting but i wouldn't like go out of my way to recommend these to people they're just something that could be a good shout then we have this bad boy which is my tens machine um it's it's a tough one because everybody recommended it because it's like the best thing um for pain and like it eases the pain i find that it helps my period pain however um if i put these on the wrong spot it hurts even on the low setting it hurts so badly so unbearably it feels like it makes my flare-ups worse if i'm completely honest um so yeah period pains god for so maybe if you have endometriosis or you just have really bad periods um definitely definitely recommend i don't say never try it for other pain areas on your body i just found it made my pain a lot worse because i'm so sensitive with my fibro um it just kind of heightened everything even more so my heat pad is an absolute must um, a big thing that I recommend when getting a heat pad is get one that can turn itself off. Um, so you can control the levels here of how hot you want it. And it's really easy to turn it up and down. Um, it's not too hard on your fingers at all. Um, however, it's so important to get one that can turn itself off and knows when it's getting too warm. Um, with chronic illness, we can be quite forgetful and we just fall asleep anywhere and it gets risky when you're using something that could overheat and potentially be very dangerous to you completely for comfort i have this fibromyalgia bear um she is very very sweet where is she from she is from mysterious um i don't know i'll put a link in the bio if anybody wants her so let's ignore all that mess um, she's very comforting, nice to have a bear that represents fibro. She has pain points all over, so her knees and her arms. And then her description was, even my fur hurts. I thought it was very cute. To make it easier getting around the house, I have canes. Um, this actually comes a pair, as two crutches. Got pink ones, because I want to look stylish. I also use them outside the house. Um, they just make it a lot easier to walk around on. I feel a lot more supported and more confident um, getting to the bathroom and things. I also, if I'm having a flare up and really, really desperately need to leave the house, will use a wheelchair. 
um, and when I go out, if there's anywhere with a long journey, I will use a wheelchair, even if I'm not in a flare-up, just so I don't cause a flare-up. I also very recently got this journal um, to fill out. It helps me track my symptoms. Um, so you can kind of see how weather affects um, your flare-ups, hours of sleep, quality, mood, pain, how long the pain lasts. Um, where all the pain is. Um, if you want to, you can track your what you're eating to see if any of that's triggering anything, um, medication and activities, and um, whoops, we've gone flying, and notes for the day, triggers, and to end it off with a little bit of gratitude to make it a bit more light-hearted through all of the pain. <laughs> Last but not least is this contraption. So, if we, it's really hard to do this one handed. If we pop it over, they are little earbuds inside. I only got these recently, but they're definitely helpful for being overstimulated. These are them outside of the packet. They're kind of like little mushrooms. I've never noticed that, probably because I've had them for a few days. But yeah, they're for, I found them very helpful so far. Um, definitely helpful as well when you're in public and being overstimulated. Um, I have autism too, so this is a massive deal for me and I'm going to take these everywhere from now on. So thank you so much for watching. I hope I could provide even the smallest bit of help. Um, I hope that if you're going for a flower up right now, you can find something to comfort you. I know it's not as easy as that. And I understand how just emotionally and physically draining it is. So I'm sending all the possible love I can to you. And I wish you the best. Thank you.